with the Tri-State riding a heat wave. We send down on your sides Brianna Harper out to talk to some doctors about the best ways to beat the heat and keep your family a little safer and cooler. She joins us live from Coney Island with more on what she's learned. Brianna? Yeah, Craig, from the sign of all these people out enjoying Coney Island's water park, I'll say that's certainly one way to stay cool, but doctors tell me preventing dehydration is also key. And no matter the weather, there's just certain jobs that you can't beat the heat, like lawn care service. Instead, they learn better ways to deal with the hot temperatures, like drinking plenty of water, taking breaks in the shade or air conditioning when possible, and avoiding any intense physical activity. Doctors say these are all steps you can take to avoid heat-related illnesses that usually start with symptoms like dizziness, confusion, and weakness. But it's not just what you can do to keep safe and cool, but also what you choose to wear as well. You want to make sure you're wearing um, light material. Um, white is going to be a better option because um, it's going to reflect the sunlight much better than uh, dark clothes. But a lightweight uh, long sleeve uh, shirt and pants can help actually keep the sun off of you and help keep you a little bit cooler. Now the good news is by the time balloon, balloon glow kicks off here at Coney Island, the temperature should be a bit cooler, but it also still will be a good idea to bring that bottle of water with you and also keep a close eye on kids as well as those who are much older. They tend to get more dehydrated more easily. For now, reporting live from Coney Island, Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.